Hey guys, my name is Octoman and this is just an addition to my swiper tutorial where we were able to, as you can see, swipe around the scene by just using touches on the on a mobile mobile device like Android or I don't know, or like a smartphone and uh, tablet PCs or whatever. Um, what I want to do right now, um, I want to answer a question from um, a subscriber, which is, um, how can I block a swipe input um, in any way when I have some GUI under uh, um, yeah under the finger, so I don't swipe around. Well, for me the easiest way um, is using an image component directly in the canvas. This should be or this should work. Um, in Unity 4.6 and over, um, and if this way I'm going to show you as fir at first is not working for you in any way, I don't know why, um, then I can show you a second way. And I will do this like so. Okay, what I do is in my canvas, I will just create a UI image. This image can just stay blank. I just go and reposition this one and make it, uh, make, make sure that this image, um, yeah, fits the screen and is going to stay wherever it has to stay. So maybe I can anchor this in the top, uh, in the bottom right corner by just, oh, that was wrong. Gonna exit play mode. Um, so just by uh, dragging this one over the screen and make sure that it will uh, stay at the position by just anchoring this thing um, with the Alt button and then just in the top or, uh, in the bottom right over there and then just drag this one out a bit. So if I go to maximize on play or whatever, um, then this image should always stay at the same position and always should keep the same size. Well, it's not keeping the same size, but uh, for showcases, it should be okay right now. Um, basically, I want this to stretch. Um, let me just check if this might be better if I just go and uh, stretch, it, uh, stretch it with a wool screen. Going to maximize on play. Um, no, that's not right. Uh, I believe it's the best to anchor this one in the bottom right corner. Um, also make sure that your canvas you are using is using, of course, uh, in the canvas scaler, the scale screen size. And when I, right now, um, open this one up, you can see it is fitting the same position and sizes and stuff. Uh, so make sure that scale with screen size is on and the anchor points um, of the rec transform is going to be in the bottom right. So on this, uh, let's say, image, uh, you can place any GUI like buttons for up, down, left, right, control, thingies, and so on and so forth. Just make sure they are uh, yeah, just laying over. Also, later on, you don't want to see that field, so you can just easily go and uh, disable the alpha channel for this, so you won't see the image itself. Um, and the user won't notice that there is an input field or basically an image lying under your GUI elements. So uh, what we want to do next is we go into the swiper um, script and we need to adjust it a bit to make sure that we block um, input or basically um, block input events on images or basically on GUI elements which are directly on the canvas. Uh, we are going to use in the first um, thingy, we are uh, the first um, yeah, way I'm going to show you, we are using um, the element system. So what we need to do is we create a new or uh, enter the new namespace called Unity Engine. Um, give me just a second. Uh, Unity Engine dot Event Systems, um, and make sure that you have that. Otherwise, this won't work. In our fixed update inside the for each loop, just before any touch face is going to get noticed, we will add two more lines. At first, we need to take uh, and store the pointer ID um, in an integer. I just call this one pointer ID, and then we say. Uh, what do we want to store? We want touch dot finger ID. 
So touch is going to be the touch we are storing anyways, but we want to have a finger ID for this one. In the next line, directly under this one, I want to ask if the event system <coughs> um, if event um, system dot current um, dot is pointer over game object. This a game object is meant to be the GUI element, like an image component or anything else. Um, and if this is going to be our current pointer ID we just stored, then we want to make sure that we don't call the rest. Oh, again that um, th that we. Oh God, this is so ugly. Gonna fix this soon. Okay, so that we don't get into the touch faces. So we want to block that and say we return from this point. So don't go further. Uh, so if our finger, whichever the next touch is, is touching uh, any GUI element or any yeah any GUI element inside the canvas, then uh, don't. Um, do the swiping. So I block actively within the snipe, uh, the swiping script. Uh, I believe this is the wrong one. Uh, yes. Um, so we go and block that. So we don't go in the touch begin phase if we were touching uh, any uh, game object um, or basically any canvas game object. So don't forget to save this one. Now we need to go to our image and we need to check at first the canvas. Uh, no, not, not the canvas. We need to check the event system, which already creates itself when you're creating a canvas. In Unity 5.3, I just noticed that basically those two elements might be deactivated. So make sure that you go to fourth module active in boss. Uh, just to make sure that that touches get noticed by yeah our touch screen, otherwise this is not working. You need to make sure both of those elements, or at least the touch input module, needs to be um, activated. Okay, so if you have done that, then I can go and start my Unity remote and check out if this is going to work. Um, let's see. <laughs> Unity Rome mode does not seem to respond, so I just go over and restart this one pretty quick. I'm sorry for the waiting time. Unity remote. I'm going to disable exit uh, the maximum on play. I don't need this. Okay, so now I can swipe around. My finger is not on that GUI element right now. If I touch that image and swipe around, I don't move anything. I just, when I slide outside of that image element, I just swipe then. And that's the first possibility for you to to block the cast or the swiping with any UI element, in my case, just an image inside of the canvas. If this is not going to work, there's a second p possibility. Uh, because that event system yeah, might not uh, work properly for you. And I don't know why. So I go and show you a second way, which is also using the event system. Um, for this, we don't need uh, using event systems and we also don't need the int ID uh, or the ID from the current touch. We don't need to return this. So I just go and disable or just comment these things out we don't need. Gonna save once again. For this case, if the first one is not going to work, I create um, directly in the swiping function. Oh, this is already in here gonna oops show you this one <coughs> what we create is as you can see here a boolean variable for swiping 
and we set this boolean to be true. In uh, as you have seen, I was just deleting this one. So in our um, touch face move, we just go over and say if swipe is going to be true, which it is from the beginning, then we're gonna do the delta stuff in here. So uh, I like uh, calculate everything and also do the transform. If we don't, um, if swipe is not going to be true, there wouldn't be any swipe. Now we need two more functions to set swipe to true or false and those two functions needs to be uh, public. So we say public void um, swipe on. And in swipe on I just set the variable swipe to true. Nothing else needed. I also need another one to deactivate that swiping which is going to be uh, called swipe off and also in here we say just instead of for, uh, true we say false don't forget to save make sure everything is set up properly and then we go back to our um, image component and we don't have any access to that old event system so we need to create a new one inside that image we want to access what does it mean is um, I create an event system by choosing add component event event trigger. This event trigger is going to store and um, take all input possibilities for pointer, enter, pointer, exit, pointer, down, pointer, up, pointer, click and all the other things. Just go over and check out. What we need is pointer down and pointer up. So <clears throat> If my pointer is going to be down and we, when this pointer is on the image and is down, then we want to call our touch controller where the swiper script is inside and we want to call swipe is going to be off. That's why the, the function needs to be public, otherwise you won't see that in the list. Then we go and add another event type which is going to be pointer up. In pointer up we still or, or have already the touch controller inside and instead of swipe off we say swipe on. Then we just yes yeah, save the scene, start remote and test this one out. So I go over, restart or start my remote. Hope it's going to work again pretty quick. And now let's test this one again. So I go over and swipe around as you can see um, here I can swipe around and when I am over that GUI part of that image I, I am not able to swipe. The only downside is it's not going to be the same as with the other variants because um, with the other one, I was able to, if I leave the field while having the pointer ID or basically the finger down and going over the, gra um, over the image, it would automatically start the swipe. If you are doing that in, with, within like that, so you can, um, and you touch on that point and you go with the finger over that UI element, this won't, w uh, the swipe will still work, so you have to take the finger off and then touch the DOI element and then the swiping is going to be off again. So only if you touch it directly with that uh, event trigger system, if you touch it like so, then and you go over the screen by holding down the finger, you won't get the swiping when you leave the image with the finger. But if you d just touch that side or that part, then uh, you will swipe again. If you have uh, take your finger and s yeah, let, leave it as a uh, leave it down, and then go inside the image with the down finger, then it still will do the swiping. I hope this is uh, for you understandable. So the first, uh, or depending on what you want, is the first basically. Uh, might be the best choice for some games. It might be better to keep on swiping even if you are over the, the uh, GUI image. Um, however, th this way is 
um, this way you can do several different images you don't want the swiping appear on. Um, the other way will automatically take all UI images and block all raycasts or basically all touches um, over any of that images. Um, so you need to decide what's yeah what fits you best. If you want to have other images, but you still want to make the sliding or the swiping on them, then you may want to choose or use this very uh, this yeah this um this variants or whatever or this way okay and that's pretty much it this is how you can block the swiping with just the easy usage of images as i said again you can just get rid of alpha so the user won't see that area or you do some dotted lines and here are some smooth graphics so the user will notice okay there's some field of whatever um so i may not be able to swipe on that yeah on on that field or on that point or part of the screen that's everything i wanted to show you i hope you enjoyed i hope you learned something and i hope it will help you out with that problem so um yeah if you like that video don't forget to sum this one up if you have any questions feel free to ask me um, in the comments below and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so see you in the next tutorial bye bye